Wow, this is hit hard. This guy is seriously impressive. Look at that for speed. He's got to be the longest pound for pound. The prodigious power of players such as Dustin Johnson, Rory McIlroy, and even the smallest Justin Thomas has made pounding the golf ball off the tee paramount on the PGA Tour. As for us weekend warriors, we desperately want more yards too, though we aren't quite as willing to work on our swings or bodies the way the pros do to gain them. Equipment manufacturers are well aware of these facts, and each time they produce a new big stick, they do so with the goal of optimizing launch and spin. That's because high launch and low spin are commonly referred to as golf's holy grail when it comes to generating distance. If you look at it from a purely physics standpoint, the way to optimize distance is get the ball launching as high as you can with as little spin as you can to maintain some kind of stability. The higher you go in launch angle, the lower you want to be in spin uh, to, to, get, to maximize your carry and roll. So high launch, low spin is a common goal, but hold on just a minute because there is a third very important ingredient in this distance recipe. Now when you say high launch, low spin, you also want to make sure you're really thinking about speed because certain, it's not just one spin level for all players. The higher your swing speed, the more ball speed you're able to create, the lower launch you can still produce and keep the ball in the air. How do companies try to maximize these distance components? Primarily through a low center of gravity, club head aerodynamics, and face flex. Oh, and because it's 2017, all drivers can be fine-tuned through their adjustability components. Got all of that? Good. Let's check out Golf's newest drivers. TaylorMade has new and improved M1 and M2 models with its second generation M1 constructed of 43% more lightweight carbon fiber than the original. The M1 also has a redesigned weight track system with left to right and front to back sliders allowing for precise weight manipulation to alter ball flight. When it comes to speed, the M2 driver has a pocket behind its face that's three times more flexible than its predecessor, which leads to tremendous ball velocity. The other key feature of the M2 is its geoacoustic sound pedal, which helps stabilization in windy conditions and feel. In this driver, we took uh, distance and forgiveness and we kind of put it on steroids, so to speak. Callaway has a big time speed story in its drivers too, with the great Big Bertha Epic and Epic Sub-Zero models featuring something called jailbreak technology. It's a cool name with an even more impressive concept. Jailbreak basically consists of two titanium bars that connect the crown and the sole, and it stiffens the body and keeps the body from flexing and deforming during impact. So for golfers that means a lot more ball speed and a lot more distance. As for a low center of gravity, Callaway's club construction is a combination of materials called titanium exocage and triaxial carbon, both of which are very light. A sliding back weight for draw and fade biases in the Epic model is countered by interchangeable front and back weights for launch alteration in the Sub-Zero. The speed in Titleist 917 D2 and D3 models comes from their advanced active recoil channel an improvement upon the one found in its 915 drivers and one that produces extremely high ball speeds. However, the big story in these drivers is Titleist finally exploring center of gravity adjustability through its SureFit CG system. That's a cylindrical weight that looks like a AAA battery inserted into a sleeve near the back of the sole for fade, draw, or neutral shot shapes. Cobra's King F7 and King F7 Plus drivers have plenty of bells and whistles too, with Techstream carbon fiber making the crown super lightweight, three sole weights for dialing in trajectory, and a re-engineered and hotter titanium face. Going completely outside the box, Cobra partnered with Arcos Golf to create Cobra Connect, whereby a built-in sensor in the grip tracks each and every drive you hit and sends the data to your smartphone via a free app. Last but not least, Strixon is turning heads with its 2017 releases, the Z565 and Z765 drivers. Weight has been removed from the top of the club thanks to a cool crown design, while a larger sweet spot was created by wrapping the titanium face around the crown and sole. Together, Strixon is calling these technologies the ripple effect. First and foremost, there's a power wave sole, which is a more flexible sole that helps to generate good energy transfer. Long story short, you get a lot more ball speed. So look for good ball speed out of these two. So, ball speed, high launch, and low spin. That's the trifecta when it comes to distance and drivers. Choose your next weapon wisely.